yeah, I do. All the time. <laughs> That was an evil laugh for you, Yota. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a treat for you guys. I have a collaboration and I'm super excited about it because I think it's a little bit different and it gives us a little bit of food for thought. So if you want to see who I'm collaborating with and what the collaboration is all about, stick around. Okay guys, how do you like all my fall decor? Isn't it cute? You guys are really getting into fall this year. I, I would love to keep my fall decorations up all year around. I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. All right, so other than fall, I'm also excited about this collaboration because I am collaborating with Fuchsia Floyd. Yes, Eva. If you want to be charmed and if you want to be entertained and if you want to see beautiful bags, then definitely subscribe to Eva. I absolutely love her. I love her style. I love everything about her. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's charming. What more would we want than a YouTuber, right? So, and she's also my friend. And so I'm really happy to be doing this collaboration with her. She asked me if I would like to do it. And I said, absolutely, because I feel like this topic, although we do sometimes talk about it, we don't talk about it in depth. So the title of this video is The Fuss Factor. So when it comes to bags, there are certain things that we look for. And The Fuss Factor is definitely not one of them. So there's a lot of fussy bags, you guys, and that's what we're talking about today. If you want to hear what Eva and I think about fussy bags and the fuss factor, stick around. All right. So when it comes to criteria, when we are shopping for a new bag, especially a pricey bag or any bag at any price level, do we want a bag that's fussy? Do we say, oh, that's a fussy bag. I'm going to buy it. No, we do not. I do have some bags that are a little fussy and I had the most fussy bag ever and I meant to pick it up for my daughter and that was the Palm Spring uh, backpack in the PM size. Now I had the first one they ever came out with and it had that zipper with the lip over it. You guys, oh my gosh, that bag drove me insane. You had to kind of pull it up and unzip it. Oh my gosh, it was just so fussy. I tried. I had it for about a year. I tried to deal with it and oh yes, right after that, they redesigned that bag and came out with a clean zipper, right? With no lip over it. It's really a personal thing if a bag is fussy for you or not. Two bags that I no longer have is the Palm Spring PM Backpack, the old style and the Birkin 35. Those bags were just too fussy for this girl to deal with. The number one thing that turns me off of a bag is if it's a heavy bag. But a fussy bag that you have to fiddle with, that's another deal breaker. So that's what we're talking about today. And I do have some bags here that are, that are somewhat fussy, but I did want to go over the two that I no longer have and they are no longer with us. <laughs> and I don't miss them a bit. <laughs> They're no longer with us. <laughs> uh, okay. The ones that are with us or with me, I'm going to start out. I have two. Okay. Two of these bags. These bags are a little bit fussy. Now, not to get in and out of them, but if you need to turn a corner, <laughs> if, if you need to turn a corner, this may not be the bag for you. <laughs> I mean, look at the base on this bag. Having a bag that kind of flares out on the bottom like this, you really have to watch where you're going or be careful. And I remember we went to a Christmas market one year and I had, I think, no, actually, I used to have the burgundy bag just like this. I kept bumping into people and people kept bumping into me and I was getting so annoyed. There were a lot of people there. It was a big crowd of people and I just kept getting bumped into and bumping into others. I mean, this bag is a beautiful bag, yes, but it's fussy, it's annoying when it comes to this wide base. I mean, this is, look at that. 
It is huge, you guys. <laughs> and not in a good way. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it's necessarily fussy because there's no opening. I mean, there's, okay, not opening, but there's no way to zip it closed. But when you have your stuff in this bag, the size of this bag, it's like a bottomless pit. And you literally, you, you literally have to get down inside of this bag and put your entire arm in this bag to retrieve your car keys, okay? So, you know, if you're in a dark parking lot and somebody is coming up behind you and you need your keys, this may not be the best bag, right? Because you could get you could get grabbed if you're carrying this bag. So maybe you need to, you know, consider that. Yeah. It can be a pain in the butt to get your stuff out of them. Even if you're standing in line and people are behind you and you're trying to dig for your wallet. I mean, you have to entirely, practically get inside the bag to get your stuff out. These bags are ginormous. I love them, but yes, there are things about these bags that annoy me. And I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but I put a strap on mine and I kind of let it hang I let this hang like this and this is from dress up your purse so Melody has so many straps you guys so many things to dress up your purse <laughs> hence the name dress up your purse this did it have to be this wide right I mean this is a really wide it's wider than my body okay that is what is fussy about these artsy bags other than that I do love them I'm keeping them I do use them and I'm really happy that I kept this one. I almost sold it. <sighs> Let's not go there. But anyway, you guys, they are a bit fussy. They are a bit annoying. And for those reasons, I have featured these bags in this video. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just looking for my wallet. Where's my lippy? It's in here somewhere. Yeah. Where's my, where's my cosmetic case? You guys, this bag is massive. I I'm trying to find my stuff. I'll be right with you. Hold on. Woo! <laughs> this bag, this bag, this bag is a beast, you guys. This is the Louis Vuitton GM. Now, I don't use it as a handbag, okay? But if you were to use it as a handbag, God forbid you needed to find something in a pinch because this bag is massive. It's, look at the base of it. Like, I, I think I could sit it down on the floor and get half of my body in this bag. I really do. It's a great travel bag for car rides, but not for plane rides because you can't, you can't get it under your seat on a plane. You don't want to put it on the top of the overhead bin because people really don't care that you have an expensive bag and they're going to throw their, their cheap crap on top of your expensive bag and then you're going to be freaking out. Oh, and by the way, this is from Dress Up Your Purse as well. This beautiful Vachetta. Um, I, I just keep it on there all the time. It's so cute. But anyway, you guys, it's a very useful bag. But if you're going to use it as a handbag, I would suggest <laughs> an organizer. These bags are massive. And a massive bag definitely is very fussy, like I said. Okay, so look at that. Look at that. These bags are massive. So, <laughs> I messed my hair. Okay, but what well, really, you know, if it's raining or if it's hailing, you could run for cover under your bag. It's hailing and, and you'd be okay. I mean, you could get under your bag. That would be a good thing. But if you need to <laughs> find your car keys, like I said earlier, and like Jason or Michael Myers or somebody like that were chasing you down in a cornfield or, um, you know, the mall parking lot, this wouldn't be the best bag. Of course, if it were filled full, you could use it as a lethal weapon. So that could be a good thing. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, Halloween is coming up, you guys. And uh, 
I told Don, um, this is kind of totally off subject, but Jason, he's been spotted in her neighborhood. I, I, I let her know that every night. <laughs> He window peeps. But anyway, you guys, these really big bags are not great for every day. I have always liked a big bag and I've always said I was a big bag girl until the small bags kind of came into style. And then I started, you know, downsizing and I really have felt liberated from these huge bags because, wow, they're cumbersome. And I feel like, you know, the older we get, I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I can't imagine my mom carrying this bag around or an artsy, you know? They are quite cumbersome, and for that reason, they the Louis Vuitton GM Neverfull is listed in this video. <laughs> I really, I was really gonna try to really keep it together in this video, you know, because I'm collaborating with Eva and she's so gracious and so lovely and always so well-mannered, you guys, but there's only so much, there's only so much that I can take when it comes to behaving myself. <laughs> but honestly, I feel like I made some pretty valid points with those really big bags. Now, what is next? Okay. I have three bags, identical bags in different colors and they're fussy but they're not so fussy that I don't love them. These are Stodd, okay? And Autumn Beckman, she turned me on to this brand. I love these bags. And if you like to watch Sex and the City, um, I believe it was Miranda had a Stodd bag. So this is kind of an upper scale contemporary brand. And I got all of mine on sale. I think they're so beautiful, but, but, there's like a magnetic closure right here. Okay, right there. Like there's these two little tabs with magnets. And I mean, it would take a lot of effort. You have to pull it up and then kind of snap it together. So I never use it, okay? I never use it. I just wear my Stodd bags when I carry them like this. And I don't pull those little tabs together and try to use the magnetic closure. But also, not only that, with these bags, you have to put your stuff in there very strategically. They have a nice base where, where they do sit up very nicely, but if they did fall over because your bag is open, your stuff is gonna fall out. And if you have like personal items in there that you don't want people to see, you know, then that could be a problem. This is the way it's intended to be closed with this magnet, but I mean, it just takes too much effort. And I think with bags, a nice carefree bag that you don't have to take a lot of effort with is really what you are looking for in a bag. I don't tend to overfill these, but your stuff is just kind of sloshing around in there and it's just hard to close. So that's a bit fussy, and I also think that the shape of this bag lends to the fussiness. But there is a bit of a fuss factor associated with these bags. I have a YSL bag. It's the YSL envelope bag. This bag can be a bit fussy, because look how narrow it is. Now, we spoke about the artsy, how wide it was. Now look at this one. It's a really sizable bag. This is, I think it's the large. I'm pretty sure mine is the large, but this bag, it's quite stiff and it's quite narrow. So it doesn't have a lot of flexibility. And when you put your things in here, I mean, you can pull it out some, but you really have to file your things in there, kind of like a filing cabinet. You don't have as much freedom to put your things in there. Now, it's kind of the opposite with the Stodd bags. They kind of flop around. Your items flop around in this bag, whereas this bag, your items stay put. It can kind of be a good and a bad thing, but there are times that I've used this bag and if you overstuff it, that's not a good thing because it is so narrow. So as far as the opening goes, I don't really like to grab it right here. I don't know, I feel like I could damage it. So I put my fingers like this, like I strategically open it this way. I put my fingers like this so I'll pull up on it and it has a clasp and it also has a magnetic closure and it's easy to open. 
although I do think about it because I don't want to damage it. When you close it, sometimes, like it didn't line up that time. Sometimes it does not line up with the magnetic or with the snap closure. So you kind of have to move it around and it's not lining up and I'm looking at it until you hear the snap. So there have been times that I've had my, my things in this bag and I put it over my shoulder. I thought it was snapped and secure and it wasn't. When you open the bag, either open it from the side or kind of open it like that. But see, I thought I had it closed and it's still open. So this is what happens sometimes with this bag. But I do find this bag a bit fussy. I don't know if I'm the only one. I've never really heard anybody say this about this bag. It just really has to do with how narrow it is and you need to really make sure that you have it lined up and the clasp is shut. The next bag that definitely has a fuss factor about it and this is one of your favorite bags from my collection because ever since I debuted this bag I've had so many people want to buy it. So many people say they loved it. You guys and it is my, my Fendi Cruise backpack. Now, I love it. I love it. I purchased this in Greece on Mykonos and I've used it so much. But you guys, this clasp, this clasp, it can be very annoying. You have to fiddle with it. If there's a bag out of all these bags that is fiddly and fussy, it's this. You're fussy. Why are you so fussy? She gives me a hard time, even if she's full. You know, there's lots of bags that once you put a lot of things in them, it's easier to close. This one is fussy, empty, or it's fussy when full. I mean, this bag likes to give me hell, okay? So it has this little button you push. You hear that? Okay. It has this little button you push and you just pull up. Okay, it's easy to open it. No matter if it's empty or full, like I said, you push it down and you, okay, you have to, like it won't go in there. And I'll pull this over to the side and I'll push it. You have to hear that snap. You have to hear that. Or if you put your backpack on your back in just a few minutes, it's going to be completely open and all your stuff is going to be falling out. You have to listen for the snap. Guys, I love everything about this backpack except except the closure. Now, once it's closed, it's very secure, but you just got to push it, pull it, you know, like that. I have fiddled with this thing and fiddled with this thing so much. And sometimes you just can't get it in there. <laughs> I mean, it's so annoying, but it is stuffed pretty good, but it doesn't really matter how much stuff is in it. It's just going to be contrary. It's just really hard to get it pushed in there. I can't even do it now. I'm trying. And then sometimes it just goes in there like that, just like the first time. And then sometimes it's being contrary and she's being contrary right now. Sometimes I even lay her down on her back like that and just, you guys, okay. She's not going to close right now. This can be a fussy bag. So, as much as I love it, I do have to say, out of all of these bags, this one is probably the most fussy. If you like to fuss and argue, you guys, get one of these. <laughs> if you like to look cute, get one of these. It definitely has the fuss factor going for it, that's for sure, don't you? All right guys, so that is all of my bags that have a bit of a fuss factor to them. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please do go over to the beautiful Fuchsia Floyd, Eva, and subscribe to her channel, you guys. She's so lovely and you will be awed by her and you will also be awed by her collection. She has a fabulous collection. I just love everything about her. I also wanna say, you guys, I'm loving this bangle that I got from Hermes and I went on the website and I was gonna get another one and then get the other lavender, the larger one. They're sold out. 
that's what happens on the Hermes website. I will keep looking for it and if you guys are interested, I just wanted to let you know because some people have asked me about this bracelet. It's just beautiful, you guys, but I love it just like this, but I would love to pick up another one. Maybe they'll restock them, but yeah, I've really enjoyed this bracelet. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for spending time with me. Don't forget to subscribe to Eva and also to me as well. Let's get to 6,000 subscribers and let's do a painting giveaway and maybe a little something else. So anyway, you guys, love you all so much. I will see you in another video on another day. Mwah.